All right, we're gonna see how we can uh, set up our public key authentication on GitHub and on DigitalOcean. So the first thing, I already have a, a browser open. We're gonna go to GitHub. Uh, if you don't have a an account, just make one. It's really simple. All you have to do is uh, add a username, uh, an email, a password, then you just have to confirm your email and you're basically done. Uh, you might not be on this exact page but from there you can always just uh, go to your profile and you'll see something like this so you can start uh, adding some content into it like a bio. So once you're here you just uh, you can start updating your profile. Um, for now, we're just gonna go into our settings. And here we're gonna go to SSH. It's gonna tell us we don't have any. We're gonna add a new one. I'm gonna title. Um, whatever you want. If you're working on a Linux box or a uh, MacBook or a Mac, you can title it that if you use several devices or uh, just pretty much anything. We can just title it um, the name. It will be fine. And then we can just go into our terminal. All we have to do here is uh, do ssh dash keygen it's gonna ask us uh, where we want to save it the default is fine uh, passphrase uh, it there's many benefits to it but for now we're just gonna skip it so just hit enter because what we want is to be able to just uh, push to our master branch without entering anything no passphrase, no password, uh, any of any of that kind of uh, extra work, and the same thing for when we push to our production server. So he's gonna leave it empty. Same, just click enter, and there we go. That's pretty much it. After this, <clears throat> all you have to do is gonna be cat, which we've used before. Then we're just gonna give it the path that we already know. So it's gonna be dot SSH. I'm gonna go into ID RSA, but we're gonna use our public key, which you can see over here. It's gonna be dot pub, which is just public. Enter, and then you're gonna be able to see it here. Just kinda copy and paste it, that's all you need. Copy it. Go into uh, your GitHub, paste it, hit add, and there you go. That's pretty much it. How can we tell if it's working? Let's go back to our profile. I'm going to close this. It's good. Alright, so we're going to do new repository. And here we can just name it whatever we want. Uh, let's call it demo. Um, this is optional. You can always add this stuff later. I would say just for uh, just at the beginning. You don't need to do it. You can always add it afterward. We're going to make it public. Um, with the readme you can always add it later also so I wouldn't worry too much about it it's also better to just uh, not put any of this stuff at the beginning just to uh, move faster through the process and then after that you can start uh, thinking about all this extra stuff you know so let's just go create there we go alright so it tells you a couple options right here the one uh, that we're going to be using is not this one. It's going to be SSH. So you just click it. 
and pretty much a, a couple things here uh, change. So now all we have to do is go back to our terminal. Uh, let's see, where did we keep our stuff? It's going to be in documents. Let's see, I think it was, let's do just git. I think we have a version control there already. Yep. So right here, we are gonna copy and paste this. Right here. Enter. And that's pretty much it. After that, uh, let's see what we have here. <clears throat> so we don't have much here. We have hello git. Let's do from GitHub. from github now we go get status it has been changed so let's do our commit it's going to title it a uh, second commit there we go. So we see our get status. Everything's uh, up to date. So we can see that we can just type this in. Once we hit enter, it's just gonna ask you uh, if you're sure. It's gonna hit yes. And that's it. Now if you make a, let's say you make another change. Say we want to change the title. And we save it. But now we know that we modified it, so we need to do the same thing. We're going to add it. We're going to commit it. Leave a message. There we go. And now we're just going to do the second time get push origin master if you see we don't do the uh, the other flag where is it the uh, u flag that's just basically for when you uh, push for the first time after that you just do the normal get push origin master enter and now that's it so you don't have to enter the username or the password whenever you want to just deploy to uh, github any github repo once you do those steps so it's really easy really fast uh, makes your life so much easier if you just want to do some uh, edits push it without the hassle of uh, having to enter all the information now if we go to our digital ocean website uh, the same thing just create an account um, it, it just asks you I think at the beginning for your email and a password uh, you're gonna have to confirm the email make sure that the email address you use you can log into it and just click on the link 
it's gonna ask you for a credit card or debit card or PayPal so you're gonna put in your information there and then the next step is just uh, create a drop droplet so once you're there I mean uh, you're basically gonna be seeing this so we don't have any droplets right now but we can see here a big button that says create when I click it I'm gonna click on droplet we're gonna choose uh, Ubuntu and all, here you can always choose any other version you want and you have uh, more options but we're not gonna go into them since we've been using Ubuntu this whole time now the way that uh, DigitalOcean has its pricing here is you pay only five dollars a month for this plan but if you use it for less than a month it only charges you per hour and you can see how much they charge you here uh, it's really cool because you can always create one or two uh, servers and you can play with them you can see what you can do with them and just explore and after that you can just destroy them and you only get charged for those hours that you used it you don't get charged for the entire month if you only use it for a day you know so that's really cool there's a lot of other options here uh, they're all really good in their own way it just depends what you actually need but for now we only need the minimum so that's the one we're gonna choose uh, block storage is really cool because as you can see here you only have 25 gigs but if you want to add more storage because maybe you're gonna be hosting videos or images for your website or any other project that you have you can always have more storage right here and you can see it's uh, it's really not bad it's really good options but for now we, we don't really need it uh, on our region that we want to set up our uh, server at you can choose the one that's uh, closer to where you live so for example I'm on the East Coast uh, I'm gonna choose New York uh, if you're on the West Coast you can choose San Francisco and then from there it depends where in the world you are also Canada it's really cool uh, other options the one I would choose is just the IP uh, IPv6 just because it's uh, it's easier to set it up afterwards if you already have this selected now here's the uh, main point you want to add your SSH key right here it's kind of like the same as um, what we did with our github I'm gonna go back here you can always just go uh, up with our arrows and we'll see our last uh, the last thing we typed in oh there we go awesome so now we're gonna just copy it I'm gonna paste it I'm gonna add a name again um, what do we do for the last one I think it was just the name of the user but you can name it for example uh, the device you're gonna deploy from or if you're running virtual machines just which one you're on add it there we go now you can see it you can see once you hover over it the key we're just gonna create one and then here we're just gonna name it demo it's kind of the same as when we named our repo in github this is gonna be the name of the droplet hit create and as you can see it's already starting to create it and it creates it really fast you can see here that it's one gig uh, it has 25 gigs of SSD it tells you the region that you chose and the uh, version of your distribution there we go so that's pretty much it that's how you create a droplet in DigitalOcean which I highly recommend um, actually migrating my portfolio 
website from Bluehost over to DigitalOcean just because you can do so much more here you have more control of everything and uh, it's pretty cheap as you can see too so now how do we connect it's gonna copy this click it go back to your terminal you can see the back to our home and you can just do ssh root at then you want to paste the IP address hit enter uh, it's basically the same thing that it's uh, that it asked us on github if we want to continue yes there we go now we are basically logged in let's see I can show you a little bit better now so there we go you can read a little bit about it it tells you your fingerprint um, it adds us to it to the list of uh, known hosts that way next time it won't ask us the same thing uh, let's see it tells us our version uh, let's see yeah so I mean basically that's pretty much it from here you can just start setting up your uh, server however you like I will make a video on that later but yeah now if you uh, let's see CD into our now you can see here that we have a lot of other folders and uh, yeah we'll go over what all this is in the next video for now let's just exit the connection has been closed now to do to get back in there all I did is uh, did the up arrow and it just prompts us what we already typed in which is just SSHing into uh, a root user and then into our uh, server so another thing you would like to do later on would be create a user with pseudo permissions that way um, it's a little bit safer to just uh, log into your server because if you're just running around with root uh, it's, it can be very easy to make a mistake and uh, change something you didn't want to so it's just gonna be better to create another user and again I'll just go over that later so there we go now that we did it for the first time uh, and it asks us to do all this confirming and confirmation uh, the second time will not ask us so it's very easy to just log back in you can see down here how it says uh, we're logged into root and then to the demo uh, droplet that we created instead of just being in our regular uh, user account into our Linux box so yeah that's pretty much it that's how you add uh, public keys to DigitalOcean and GitHub so you can do anything you want faster you can push all your um, files and code easier faster and you can just uh, worry less about it